Don't boo. Vote. Booing is easy. I need you, I need you to vote. Look, let, let's, let's talk about Mr. Trump. He's not really a plans guy, a fat guy. He calls himself a business guy. But America's got a lot of businesswomen and women who, who succeeded without hiding their tax returns or leaving a trail of lawsuits or workers who didn't get paid, people feeling like they got cheated. I, I, I mean, look, I, you know, I keep on reading this analysis that, well, you know, Trump's got support from, like, working folks. Really? That, like, this is the guy you want to be championing working people? This guy who spent 70 years on this earth showing no concern for working people. This guy's suddenly going to be your champion? I mean, he's, he spent most of his life trying to stay as far away from working people as he could. And now this guy's going to be the champion of working people. Huh? I mean, he wasn't going to let you on his golf course. He wasn't going to let you buy in his condo. And now suddenly this guy's going to be your champion? And so, yes, if, if you oppose raising the minimum wage, you should vote for Trump. You should also vote for Pat Toomey. You got a, a, a Trump to me economy will be right up your alley. But if you are actually concerned about paying your bills, growing the economy, creating opportunity for everybody, keeping the trend of rising incomes going and rising wages going and uninsured going down and poverty going out, if that's what you're looking for, this, this shouldn't even be close. If you want higher wages, better benefits, a fair tax code, a bigger voice for workers, stronger regulations on Wall Street, then you should be voting for Hillary Clinton and Katie McGinty and Bob Brady to stand up for you. And if you're concerned about who's going to keep your family safe in this dangerous world, then the choice is even clearer. I, look, I, I just came from overseas. You, talk to the other leaders around the world. They don't even understand how this is close. <laughs> Hil Hillary's worked with our intelligence teams and our diplomats and our military. She's got the judgment and the temperament and the experience to meet any threat. There's no scenario that sh she will not have seen before. And she'll see to it that our troops finish the job of defeating ISIL, doing it the right way without resorting to torture, without banning entire religions from our country. She's prepared to be the next commander-in-chief.